What is up guys, welcome back to my channel, Escaping Comfort Zone. So today is a very exciting day because I am going over to Tokyo, Japan. And by the way, it is also my birthday in like a couple more days. Um, but I just landed in Cairns. I'm already lost. This is just my stopover, but I'm already lost. Whoa, I'm watching it. Because oh, it took me a while to figure out where the international airport is, but I'm heading there right now. And I'll be flying over to Narita Airport in Tokyo very shortly so get keen for that guys because I'm going to be spending one month in Japan and it will be an epic trip so I will see you there Okay, here we come. And good news, I got TV and look how close I am. Yeah. Finally made it guys, I'm in Tokyo, Japan. Ah, this is awesome, I can't believe I made it. It was probably one of the best flights I had to. I had the whole row to myself. Such a cruisy flight. And I was first off the plane, first through immigration. It was, everything is just going perfect. <laughs> That's how I want it to be. Um, so at the moment I'm trying to fire, figure out where my bus is to get to my hostel. So, which is like a 55 minute drive into the city. Um, and also something to mention, it's a good tip. They, before I left Australia, they asked if I had a returning ticket. Um, I mean, they asked if I had a ticket out of Japan. So, if you're ever coming here, you'll probably need a ticket out if you want to get into Japan. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, she, has been a great venture getting here and I'm gonna head off into the city and see if I can find my hostel. And there's my ride. Well, my bus got me here, finally. Um, and I'm just walking to my hostel now. Whole experience today was just so, so much easier than I thought. Um, but, I'm pretty damn tired now. It's like 9 p.m. here and I left like 4 a.m. at home this morning. So I'm gonna get to my hostel. Put it, oh my God, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm here. Have a good nap and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow exploring Tokyo. Woo! There we are. Check out this guys. I've got my own little capsule room. <laughs> Look how big it is. So tiny. Right, I'll be seeing you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning guys, so I had a great first night's sleep in my hostel. I was staying, staying at a hostel called Oak Hostel Cabin and that's where they have the capsules. So it was my first ever time sleeping in a capsule which was pretty cool. Um, first thing I noticed that the hostels here are super clean. I, th I think everything is just very, very clean. Um, and it was probably the quietest but biggest hostel I've been in. <laughs> but at the moment, I'm going go explore Tokyo for my first day ever. So let's see what I can find.
yeah, before I arrived to Japan, I did a bit of research and found out that when people go out and buy like fast food or takeaway from the shops, they don't eat the food on the streets. Uh, I think it's just because like it's the polite thing to do and they're trying to keep the streets as clean as possible <laughs> and it is showing because for how many people is in this country the streets are just spotless spotless clean so i ended up just going to 7-eleven finding something to eat find a park to eat at because you just find an area to sit down when you want to eat your food but i made a mistake and bought this <laughs> I just realised that I don't have any cutlery or anything to eat it with so I'm going to have to find some cutlery before I even have my breakfast. And I got this thinking it was a water and it's, I don't even know what it is, it's like a Gatorade water. Hey, found my first temple. I'm sure I'll be seeing plenty more of these throughout Asia. Still very surprised at how tame the crowds have been around here. Like, I just assumed Tokyo was going to be busy everywhere, but I'm sure I'll find those places sooner or later. Look at it, it's not really that bad. But another crazy thing about Japan is there is like barely any bins around here. I haven't seen many on the streets. The only ones that I've seen is like around near the vending machines and sort of outside 7-Elevens and little shops. But yeah, I struggled to find any bin. Um, I'm quite surprised though actually because as I said before, all the streets are super, super clean. So I don't know how they clean them. It's a pity that I missed the peak cherry blossom time because at the moment, everything is just falling off onto the ground. Still looks pretty cool though. Okay, so I've come to the conclusion that I'm starving. I can't wait to eat. I can't wait to find cutlery. So I'm just going to eat with my hands. <laughs> Look at this toilet. How does that even work? Yeah, I'm not trying that one today. <laughs> so this is the East Gardens of Imperial Palace. Um, this is the area that's like surrounded by all the water. <laughs> Looks like it's kind of on an island. So there's a few nice things around this ferris. So let's go check it out. Well, I think that's enough for me today, guys. I've had quite a big day and I'm just so exhausted now. I fit a fair bit in today, though. Um, I reckon the best bit was seeing the big gardens and the palace because it's big, giant open areas and they have some amazing gardens in there. Uh, but, yeah, that's it for me. I'm gonna head back to my hostel, <laughs> get some rest. But remember, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I'll be seeing you guys in another day in Tokyo. Bye.